Welcome to this week's Tuesday Truth for Kids. So far, we've seen that we need Jesus to build our lives on a solid foundation and also to be clean from our sin. Today, we are going to see how we need to trust Jesus and why we can trust him. First, tell me who is in charge in your home or who is the boss of your school? Who is in charge of our country? And can you maybe think of anyone else in the world who is really important or has a lot of power? Today in our Bible passage, we are going to meet a powerful Roman soldier and we'll see what happens when he meets Jesus. We will see that even though the soldier was in charge of a hundred other soldiers and he had lots of power, there was still something that he did not have power over. Something that he needed Jesus' help with. So open your Bibles to the book of Matthew, that's in the New Testament, and we are going to read from chapter 8, verses 5 to 13. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home, paralyzed, suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am the man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, and he goes, and that one, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Truly, I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown aside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go, let it be done just as you believed it would. And his servant was healed at that moment. So this centurion was in charge of other soldiers. And when he said, jump, they all asked how high. He had power over them and they obeyed him. But he didn't have power over sickness and he couldn't make his servant better. Who could help the centurion? Exactly, Jesus could. Even this powerful Roman soldier, this man, knew that he needed Jesus' help. Jesus offered his help, but the man knew that Jesus was way more powerful than he was. He said that he didn't even deserve for Jesus to come into his house. Jesus is that important. He said that all Jesus had to do was just speak and the servant would be better. So this shows us the centurion understood just how powerful Jesus was. Jesus was amazed at the centurion's faith. You see, the centurion was not a Jewish man. He was born an, a, a Roman, so he was like an outsider. He wasn't a part of God's people. The Romans were the enemies of the Jews. But Jesus said that he had even greater faith than anyone else in Israel. Jesus said that the people who were born Jewish, but who didn't trust him, will not be able to be a part of the kingdom of heaven. But those who trust in him, those who have faith, will have a place in the kingdom of heaven forever. So getting into God's kingdom is not about which nation or which family you are born into. It's all about faith, about trusting Jesus and knowing that he is in charge of everything. And then what happened? Jesus just spoke and instantly he healed the servant all the way, far away from where Jesus was. Jesus showed that he was in charge of everything and even sickness obeys him. So what does this amazing true story mean for us today? 
The story shows us that the centurion really could trust Jesus and that we can trust him too. too. Jesus is still the same. Like the centurion, we need to understand just how much we need Jesus' help. No matter how important we are or how much power or things we have, we still need Jesus because he is in charge of everything. He just speaks and it happens. Jesus is the king over heaven and over earth and without him, nothing is possible. Do you want to be a part of God's kingdom forever? It's not about being born a Jew or following rules or having lots of things or anything else. It's just about trusting Jesus. Let's close our eyes and pray together. Thank you, Jesus, that you are in charge. You just speak and it happens exactly as you said it would. Jesus, please help us to trust you with everything. Help us to know that you are the king over heaven and over earth, earth and that without you, nothing is possible. Please help us to have a great week further. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much, everyone. We'll see another reason why we need Jesus next Tuesday.